Sued Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000. So hot, it can cook breakfast in bed. Breakfast not included. Fizzle Electric Blanket 2000 not to be used by the sick, elderly, pregnant, bipedal, etc., 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 etc. Do you look good in floral print shirts and harem pants? Sure we all do. So why not warm yourself on the most beautiful beaches in the world? Visit these tropical islands. You can hang tan or dive for pearls. The local government won't let you keep anything you find. But it's just good, clean fun to hold your breath till your lungs almost burst and then get the vents from coming up too fast. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore... Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Same old meat substitute? Here's a tip. All you need to make this into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is... Hmm, peculiar little character. <laughs> Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is. And that boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula. A wiki 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 wiki. Huh? Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice picking minute. Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Aw, oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Sakes alive. They just don't make them winter pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The tropical and tropical, implementing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist? Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? 
As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you. It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71. And the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> I have an excuse. No excuses, Woody. You're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh, no. I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless... This here's the Uber Termite, genetically created in my lab for... Apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red coated pig farmer? Oh boy, I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Psh, holes? Holes are for golfers and lose the woodpecking. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister, or else. No, not the smelly shoe! I only want holes in the trees, not the whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Uh-uh-uh. Here you go. This will help you make little teeny pecking holes. Like a woodpecker. Now, the only sound I want to hear is this. Yes, sir. That little guy is gonna make my life so easy. I said, little teeny pecks, like a woodpecker. Learn from the master. First, pick out a tasty spot. Next, aim. Then do what woodpeckers do a best. Junior's got a bad attitude. I can see I'm going to have to keep you on a short leash. A little peck, then move on. Now a peck of that tree. And take a peck of that one. A fight might a termite bite if a termite could not bite. Paint is just a ticket. I'll 
trick that termite out of here. Then I'll paint the forest back before Mother Nature even gets here. Nice job, Picasso, but, uh, where's your house? My, what, huh? What? Hmm. Why, it's right over here. Thanks, big guy. <laughs> Now into your room. You're not my father, so you can't tell me what to do. Enough already! I'm taking you back. Ah, phooey! That little termite you sold me is a... a monster! Now I need something that'll grow trees. Fast! These vigor growth seeds should do the trick. Okay, that does it. Lester? Dad? Lester, what are you doing to that nice woodpecker's trees? Uh, he said that I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the thing. Get home, now! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608. Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Termite, why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses! Start munching that bark or I'll demote you to a chitter! Now! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it! I mean it, you loafer! Please, listen! Get busy! Wait, I'm not who you think. Let me explain! <laughs> <laughs>